Hello, and welcome to the Rice County Historical Society. My name is Liz Kramer, and I work at the Historical Society, and today we'll be talking about the famous Faribault Schimmel pianos. Friedelin Schimmer, who's the founder of the company, also known as Fred Schimmel, moved to the United States from Austria in 1865. He was only 13 years old when he came to the U.S., but he knew the art of piano making because of his family. Schimmel worked for others in New York and then Minneapolis after he came to the United States, but continued making his own piano designs in his spare time. He completed his first piano of his own design while he was living in Minneapolis, and he actually made it in the attic of a Minneapolis house. Schimmel came to Faribault in 1892 and started professionally producing pianos of his own design with his business partner, C. Rick Nelson. Five years later, in 1897, Schimmel became the sole owner of the company. Schimmel's business grew quickly, and in 1913, the factory was moved into a new building, which is actually where KDHL resides today. In its heyday, the Schimmel company was producing four pianos a week and had 26 employees. The Rice County Historical Society actually has two Schimmel pianos on display. One was produced while Schimmel and Nelson owned the company, and the other is from when Schimmel ran the company on his own. The pianos are both still in tune, and one of them is still played regularly, especially during the Rice County Fair. Schimmel pianos were highly sought after and regarded for their design and the quality of the materials that were used in their manufacturing. However, with the onset of World War I, the Schimmel company was no longer able to source materials from Germany, and Fred stopped making pianos rather than sacrificing their quality. Instead, Schimmel turned to manufacturing furniture, but the company was not able to remain competitive while still making a quality product that Fred was satisfied with. That's it from the Rice County Historical Society, preserving the past for future generations.